Welcome back to East by West Farms, where we grow what we eat and we eat what we grow. Today we're going to do some brush work. We took over this farm in about August last year. The previous owner was homesteading. They tried to convert that farm into agricultural land and, and abandoned that idea uh, for, for various reasons. Now the um, area I'm standing right here is very well maintained. The grass is mowed. Um, the back of the farm hasn't really been cultivated. Um, you know, they put in a new fence in the front. The back still has an old fence that must be, you know, five, six, seven years old at least. Yeah, probably older than that. A lot of the brush is grown into the fence. And what I'm doing, if I have some extra time, I go back along the fence and start clearing out all the uh, brush that's grown into the fence. Brush, trees and whatnot. Okay, that's where we are. So here's the fence. I've cleaned that area up yesterday. Uh, it took me about an hour or so, and uh, I'm gonna continue on the other side. Trees that I'm seeing here is a combination of Texas native trees. Here I've got a hackberry tree that's a little bit too big to cut with my loppers. Didn't bring uh, saws, so that's all good. Um, I've got a few mesquites in the back. I've got a, um, a, a cedar elm that starts leafing out already. And here's what it looks like in the, in the other direction. I've got a bunch of shrubs, mesquite um, and, and hackberries that are growing wild. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cut this all up, uh, clear the path, clear pathway along the, the fence so that I can eventually go with the mower and keep the grass and whatever's growing here cut short. But right now there's no way of getting through there with a the mower, so it's going to be a bunch of handwork. Tools I have available. Safety, of course, is super important. That's the most important thing. Work gloves. Those are a bunch of sturdy gloves that we got from the um, tool supply store. I've got a lopper. Just like that, and cut larger branches. And then I've got a sickle to clear out the undershrub and the, the undergrowth. I like that. Um, that has a bunch of um, nicks in there already, so I need to sharpen that soon. Intermediate sharpening, I'm doing with a sharpening stone that's in a water bath that I keep on my belt. And uh, that should get me through the day. I get back to, when I get back to the barn, I need to hammer peen that and I'll uh, do a video on that eventually. But uh, yeah, really sharpening is fairly straightforward. I just take the sharpening stone and slide it along the cutting edge and keep the cutting edge pretty sharp. And that's all it takes. There we go. Yeah, here are a few. Here are a few nicks from yesterday. So I need to hammer that out. Why am I not using chainsaws? Um, it's a pain in the neck to get them around, uh, carrying them back and forth. Getting gasoline, safety gear, safety equipment. Uh, I don't want to go through all that trouble. It would certainly take a uh, shorter time. It would make, make things faster. Uh, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I'm not really on the timeline here on the farm. 
So um, if it doesn't get done today, it's going to get done tomorrow. It's a, a nice thing to relax in the evening and, um, and uh, see how things clear up. Um, I've got a better hold on what's growing here. I've got a better feel on what's uh, working, what kind of um, plants we have, what native, what invasives we have. So I enjoy that process. So that's the area I cleared out today. It's not too bad for a few hours of work. I've left a few trees standing like this one here. That's way too big to cut. It's somewhat away from the fence, so it's going to take a few years until it uh, grows into the fence. This one here is too big. We might turn this into a bonsai, possibly. Here's one of the mesquite trees. Again, too big to cut with a lopper. So let's see if that's going to be possibly do in a bonsai. I left this one here that's that has some very nice turn and twists so that will pro that's a, a uh, that's a hackberry tree so I think we make this into a bonsai eventually. So this just about wraps it up the sun's going down I better get going to get back home need to cook dinner. Uh, got quite a bit of work done today in uh, just maybe two hours. It really doesn't take an awful lot, a, a sickle and a, uh, a lopper uh, and on, of course, safety equipment. Yeah, that's, of course, very important. Yeah, all the stuff here is pretty prickly, like you can see here with this uh, McSkee tree. I hope you like this content. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. If you want to follow us, on our journey into homesteading at the East by West Farms. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can up, get updated every time we post a new video.